how to conquer your day. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. How do you go about conquering your day? What are some things, what are some tactics that you can take to conquer your day to make sure you get the most out of your day every single day? Well, I think that I've found one way to do that. Now granted, different people have different ways of conquering their day. The way that I conquer my day is I make sure that I take control of it immediately. And what that means is getting up early. Now, if you like to sleep in, you're not gonna like to hear this. I'm not saying don't get the sleep that you need. I am definitely not saying that. Get your six, seven, eight, nine hours, whatever you need. But no matter what you need as far as sleep goes, if I get up early, and like, I'll just speak for myself. I won't even tell you what to do. If I get up early at five o'clock in the morning, say 5.30, if I get up between five and 5.30, I can conquer my day because I have time before work starts where I can do all the things that I want to do. So here's how I literally do it. I look at all the things that I need to get done in a day and exercise comes first because if I don't exercise and get all of my actual half Ironman training in before the first meeting of the day and really is before I shower, eat and drive to work. If I don't get all that exercise in before then, there's about an 80% chance that I just won't get it all in. And I'm going to ensure that I get it all in. So I have to conquer that before I can even conquer my day. So for me, I look out a couple of days in advance or about a week in advance. Typically, typically I look at the next week, either like on the weekends. On the weekends, I look at the week coming up and I start to lay things out and I start to move stuff around. And I need to move that exercise. I have blocks of time on my calendar for exercise and that has to go in the morning. And if that means that I have to wake up once or twice or three times, in a week at say 4.30 or even earlier and start working out very, very early before five o'clock in order to get it all in, well, that's what I'll do because I'm going to get in all my exercise and I'm going to work a full day at the office. And in order to do that, in order to conquer my day and achieve all my goals for that day, I have to start early. If I instead chose to sleep in, I would not be able to accomplish hardly any of my goals. When I wanted to write a book, I finally wrote a book. I don't have one in front of me. Oh, I should have one. It's over there. But when I finally wrote my book, guess when I did it? At 5 a.m. I'd wake up at 5 a.m., I'd drink a cup of coffee, and I'd start writing for between one and three hours a day, just depending on what else was going on. If there's anything big that you want to accomplish in life besides just making it through your day barely, then I recommend think about starting early. When you start early, when you get up at, I don't know, say five o'clock in the morning, and if your first meeting is until four, uh, not four, nine, you have four hours, four hours. That's half of a normal person's workday to get your own shit done before you start getting your company shit done. That's a lot of time. Now, granted, you know, there's shower time, there's commute time, all that. But all right, let's reduce that down to three hours. Let's say that you have a long commute. You still have, say, two hours to yourself to get those things done that are important to you before you give your time up to your company and everything else you got going on. Now, contrast that with someone that just rolls out of bed a few minutes before they have to do something in the morning, whether it's a video meeting and they come in looking all sloppy because they haven't showered, they're still basically asleep. Or, you know, they, they wake up right before they have to scramble and they haven't prepared their day and they got to get out the house, you know, get out the door as quickly as possible. Those people are not organized and they're not going to be able to do anything besides just the basics. Get to work, rush home, go to bed. They won't be able to get big goals done. If you have ambition, if you have things you want to get done and you don't wake up early in the morning, I'll be very interested to know how you're going to get it done. For me, and when I want to get big goals done, that means waking up early. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, How to Launch a Seven-Figure Business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, 
to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.